Guys, I'm going to take off uh, early. I'm sorry, I just uh, can't concentrate uh, in trading a little bit, you know, this uh, daughter of mine issue. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to finish uh, today with a red day. I had uh, two losing trades in Tesla, one very nice winner in mRNA, which of course um, started with this beautiful winner, small loser in KO Coca-Cola and a small winner in space. What I do want you to take a look at uh, is the intraday behavior of Tesla. If you look at the intraday behavior of Tesla, that's exactly what uh, kills traders. I mean, what you're seeing here is a license to kill. Just take a look at what Tesla did today. Started by moving up, then crashing under the lows, moving up again, coming down again under the lows, moving up over the highs, then coming down all the way down to the lows, did not come under the lows, and then going sideways. If you take a look at Tesla, well, sadly, I, I thought I was uh, clever twice and uh, I failed twice. I mean, so normally I would just fail once, but I, I had a really miserable day with Tesla today. And as you can see, when the stock is moving sideways, it just doesn't pick any trend. I mean, there's nothing there. I thought there was because at the beginning, you know, when you look at here, that's where I moved in actually moved in for the long side, then I don't want to talk about it. Anyway, I thought it does have a trend. It did not have any trend. And that's the result. So I'm having a red day mainly because of Tesla. I did have a fantastic uh, trade in uh, mRNA, shorting it right over here. But I do want you to take a look at uh, the S&P 500 because it's a very important uh, technical formation that we're having right now. And uh, just, you know, whenever you start trading every day, you need to take a look at the S&P 500, extremely important, just to understand where we're coming from and where we're going. So recently, well, definitely, if we look back, that's one year, we can see that the S&P is trending higher very nicely. And then just a few days ago, we came down very, very strong and bounced exactly at the point of support, what was resistance and now became support. And now we're moving all the way up again. Well, not really. We just covered around 60%. You know, if you're looking at uh, Fibonacci retracements, you will find that Fibonacci retracement is around 61%. So at that point right over here, where we are right now, we're covering approximately a Fibonacci pullback, which means that market is not already secured in its uptrend. What we're seeing here is, uh, thank you very much, Henry, just contributed $5 for us. I guess he had a good day. So what we're seeing here, definitely the S&P is uptrending. Definitely you should trust the trend. But when you're looking at the daily chart, be careful. This could be just a pullback from the lows. And then the, ne the, the next thing that uh, could happen, of course, is a continuation. Or think about this support over here. If, just if, we're going to come down. And again, that does not, what I'm saying here, I'm not, I'm, I'm not suggesting we will come down. I'm just saying, think about Fibonacci. Think about the pullback. Think about if the market is considered, and it is considered to be too extended. Think about the support that we have here. And just in case we will come down to that point over here, then hunting season began, begins. We will have uh, some uh, probably very interesting shorts. And uh, you know what? As a trader, that could be interesting. <laughs> Many people are losing money when the market's coming down. We are normally making more money when the market's coming down. So anyway, let's uh, wait and see. Um, I don't predict what will happen. I can only predict what will happen in case we're going to do something and uh, it's just important to take a look at the charts. Well, that's it. A red day for me. I made like 18 grand yesterday, so I just returned around eight. No big deal. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you for participating if you're on YouTube. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, traders.